Hi guys, I'm Sonal and today I'd like to talk a little bit about myself. Uh, on this channel, I've been sharing uh, my favorite recipes, most of which are ketogenic and a uh, few are which I cook for my kids and the, some of their favorites. So uh, I wanted to talk about why I eat a ketogenic diet and a little bit of history of myself. So um, I've been uh, diagnosed with diabetes uh, about 20 to 25 years ago. At that point I was a teenager, I was about 18 years old um, and I had accidentally found out that I was a diabetic. Both my parents are diabetics uh, but they had diabetes at a much later age, uh, after 40s or so um, and that's why we weren't expecting uh, this. At that time, even in India, it was very uncommon for a teenager to have type 2 diabetes. So there was very little information available other than the doctors there was um, nobody else who could advise you much and um, the problem uh, with the medical system in India is that the doctors are so busy that they don't have time to educate you to control or manage your disease. All they can do is they can give you medication to kind of keep your blood sugars under control. So I had no uh, information available, there was no internet um, at that time. Uh, so, I just uh, cut down on sugars and potatoes and rice and I thought that was enough because that's what my doctor told me. So, um, you know, cutting down on these things didn't help me control my blood sugars. I was still taking medication and my blood sugar was under control with medication. After that, I moved to US and there uh, one good thing happened was that I got nutrition training. So they also taught us how to count carbs in the Indian foods. So uh, complicated foods like even idlis and dosas and you know bhakris, rotis, um, which gave me a clearer idea of the high carb foods um, and also made me realize that milk and beans and lentils also had carbs. So until that time I had no idea what could be increasing my sugar because I thought I was doing things right. I wasn't eating rice, I wasn't eating potatoes, but um, and but I didn't know why. Uh, my sugars were still high. I thought that's just the way it's going to be. Um, but when I kind of started understanding about carbs and I started counting my carbs and limiting my carbs for the day under 45 grams and did some mild exercise, I was able to manage the disease even without uh, medication. So um, I was just managing my blood sugars with diet and exercise, which was a great thing. For years I did that. And then I had my children um, and uh, even during my uh, pregnancies I had um, I managed my sugars very well I was checking my sugars about 10 times a day I started taking insulin because um, medicines are not advised during pregnancy I had a very smooth pregnancy and uh, normal deliveries my children were normal size like 6.3 and 7.3 pounds um, so everything was going good um, even after that, I sort of didn't put on too much weight, so I lost most of my weight, pregnancy weight, and I was managing my sugars. They were a little higher, and I, I was taking, me I started some medicines at the time, but later uh, we moved to India. Once we moved to India, what happened was I had all the foods that I had missed for so many years uh, readily available to me. You know, my parents, my in-laws, everybody was pampering us with all our favorite foods, and I could not control myself. I put on 10 kgs, which is a lot. So, um, as you know that when you, your weight goes up, so does your blood sugars and your health goes down. So, um, with 10 more kgs, I had more blood sugar levels and I had to start off taking more complicated medicines, um, you know. So, I was on a higher doses of medication and it, it kept going that way. I had never been an exercise person. I have tried all kinds of exercises on and off. Um, the problem is I, I'm not consistent with exercise. What started happening lately in the past three years is that basically it has been 20 years since it had been 20 years since I had uh, been a diabetic. So time, you know, time takes a toll on you. Uh, it is a progressive disease so it does get worse. If you keep your diet and uh, your, your exercise routine the same then over a period of time you are going to get more and more diabetic or what they call is more and more insulin resistant um, and carbohydrate intolerant which is what happened in my case 
my blood sugar started going up uh, the only advice I could get was I have to increase my medication or go on insulin and um, I somehow didn't want to do that I did not want to increase my medication so I started exploring different um, ways to reverse my diabetes because there was a lot of talk about that um, I tried all kinds of different things I tried my trusty uh, low carb diets but somehow this time around it wasn't working as much I wasn't losing weight as easily as when I was younger so um, I failed at that and then I also turned vegan for a year uh, for various reasons other than health um, and even on that diet I tried to eat a low carb um, diet and a healthy diet with a lot of food, uh, fruits and vegetables and smoothies uh, but the problem was that it was a low uh, fat diet and a vegan diet so there was no cheese, meats, fat all I could eat was beans, lentils and vegetables and that was somehow not enough to satisfy me so to stay on any diet in the long term what is most important is that you feel satisfied on a day-to-day -day basis with what food you eat and which was just not happening in some time I kind of got um, to cheating a little more often and and then you know I obviously saw that my blood sugars were not uh, under control and uh, I realized that I'm going to cheat you know more and more eventually so that was not a diet for me in the long term and then uh, another thing that happened uh, simultaneously was that I started getting some toe pain so about three months ago my, sto uh, my toes started paining and um, I had no clue what that was because it had never happened to me and um, then I realized that it was probably diabetic neuropathy um, and it was time for me to take things seriously, take things in my hand and make some drastic changes. I felt motivated at that point and then I started reading a lot and researching a lot online and I read about fasting. Fasting is something I had done 20 years ago uh, when I went to a naturopathy center just um, you know for the heck of it. Um, I had fasted for 15 days on a water fast um, but uh, not since then. So when I started reading about fasting I decided to fast for three days. I did a water fast for three days and probably I could have done a longer one but the problem is that living with your family and in my case where I cook like four times a day sometimes for my children and my family uh, when you're so close to food you're handling food and cooking food and smelling food all the time uh, it's the temptation that gets to you you know you're not really hungry it's just the temptation of the food and um, I I couldn't control so I couldn't go beyond three days um, I want to eventually get myself uh, motivated enough to do at least a week-long fast um, the effect of those fa the fast was that it first of all got me started on a weight loss journey I lost about three pounds on that one and a half kgs or so and um, I got more motivated I was feeling a little better the water fast definitely makes you feel a little better you feel your mind is clearer um, your sugars go down so that's another reason for a diabetic that you start feeling sharper and clearer and healthier and more um, active so that was a good um, effect uh, since I couldn't continue on the um, water fast, what I did was I started intermittent fasting. So intermittent fasting is where you fast for most of the day in the 24 hours and you eat in a gap of like 4 to 6 hours. So I try to keep my gap to 6 hours. On an ideal day, 4 hours. Um, I, my, I skip my breakfast and I take my first meal at probably at 2, 2 p.m. and then the last at 8. Um, so then you get like a 20 hour fast if you uh, you know 18 to 20 hour fast if you eat for like 4 to 6 hours um, and if you continue this for a long period of time you do get a lot of health benefits and you feel better I mean from my personal experience I can say that I feel much better uh, on this kind of uh, lifestyle the great thing about fasting which I felt was that you were not controlling yourself from eating this or that you were just not eating so it was believe it or not it was much easier than avoiding certain foods when you just don't eat you don't taste any food and so you don't get tempted 
or you don't want to eat more because you just eat zero so you just continue doing whatever work you were doing during the day and you stay away from food so i my i personally find it very um, easy to do it's difficult in the beginning because the first few days can be difficult only because of the habit of eating you're into a habit of eating at an equal interval of time so whenever it's time to eat your body or your mind actually uh, pushes you to eating and makes you feel that you're hungry but um the logic behind this is that you have so much stored fat over the years that there's absolutely no reason for you to uh feel dizzy or giddy or hungry because you haven't eaten your body should be able to burn that fat and use it as fuel for your for your bodily functions so um what you have to do is you just you know keep drinking water whenever you're feeling hu- hungry and they are you know your hunger pangs go away and then you get used to it so anyway that that's intermittent fasting but then when i eat what do i eat because that was also very important because after doing an intermittent fast every time that i would eat my blood sugars were very very high because um uh, unlike the other people who intermittently fast they are not diabetics so they get to eat whatever they want freely and since you've not eaten since morning you tend to eat a little extra so in my case the blood sugars would be really really high so it was very important for me to even look into the uh, the diet that i would have so that's when i um came across ketogenic diet i read books about fasting and ketogenic diet and also i watched videos of um some prominent doctors who have done research in this field and also reverse diabetes by fasting and ketogenic diets so uh, i started reading about the ketogenic diet and i realized that this could work for me because it would keep me satisfied it's a high fat and a low carb diet so it's on um, it's like the atkins diet but not exactly because atkins diet is a high protein and low carb diet in this di- on the ketogenic diet you have to eat moderate amount of protein because even protein gets converted into sugars eventually and as a diabetic you don't want that happening so for that reason uh, i eat about 100 grams of protein during the day carbs have to be below 15 grams of carb for the whole day which is very little uh um, because most vegetables also have carbs and then sweeter vegetables like onion uh tomatoes uh peas carrots are also not allowed on the diet starches are not allowed uh millets are not allowed and any ha- whole grains or uh, fruits uh are not allowed so there's a lot of things that are not allowed on the diet but i like to focus on the fact that there's a lot that is allowed on this diet compared to a lot of diets which tell you to eat low fat uh you're allowed to eat um butter as much as you want ghee uh you can cook your foods in uh, animal fats you can uh, cook your foods in coconut oil so these are the fats that are allowed you are allowed to eat high fat protein so you can eat bacon and you can eat steaks and uh chicken thighs and uh, chicken legs so whatever is a high fat uh so a lot of uh, high fat foods are allowed uh in dairy you can freely eat high fat cheeses so these are a lot of things that i have been controlling all my life being a diabetic trying to lose weight uh there's a lot of foods from this list that i was not eating and controlling myself from eating although i loved it so i'm happy to just focus on the fact that i get to eat all this and also accept the fact that the rest of the foods i'm never going to be able to eat as a diabetic even if i reverse my disease even if i uh, get healthier it won't make sense for me to go back to eating those foods so you know you have to just change your mindset into thinking that you are probably an animal who is not meant to be eating those foods so for example an elephant doesn't eat meat so he's not going to sit and complain about it so that's the kind of mindset that i need to build for myself is what i realized that i need to accept that certain foods are going to be off limits for me for good and once you accept that you're not going to complain about it and you're not going to regret it uh, all the time and um, seriously today i'm i'm very content with the diet um my progress with it is that i have lost um about of uh, 16 pounds on the diet um and uh, i have cut down on my medication i mean i have stopped my medication completely and my blood sugars are at the are at the point where they were when i was taking medication 
so um, I was getting a fasting of 170 uh, which is very very high and I'm still getting a fasting sugar of 170 on this diet uh, the positive thing is that I'm off my medication um, and I intend to lose weight even more my target is to go down probably 10 to 15 pounds or more and uh, probably when I get to that weight my blood sugars will be uh, in the normal range just with the diet and some mild exercise um, because that's my main focus to get rid of my medication I've been taking these um, medicines or pumping these chemicals into my body for the past 20-25 years and I just feel like it's such an unhealthy thing to do and I, I want to stop that because I've been a person who never takes any medicines even for a headache or anything I'll, I'll avoid mes medicines as much as possible and this was something I wasn't able to avoid so far and now that I have hope I want to give it my best shot and I'll obviously keep you uh, updated on that um, there's one small advice if you think that this diet can work for you and if you want to change uh, your lifestyle and start on a ketogenic diet uh, you need to take your doctor's advice especially if you're a diabetic you need to lower your medication because your medication is adjusted to a particular amount of carb that you eat so if you're going to drastically reduce the carbs then you have to reduce the medication too uh, if not your blood sugars can go very low and it's a very dangerous state of um, hypoglycemia so um, you know take your doc doctor's advice if you like the video read uh, about this diet research about it and once you're convinced only then uh, hop on to this lifestyle uh, i hope this video was helpful uh, to you if you liked it please click like and subscribe to my channel for many more videos like that it will really encourage me to make more videos uh, thanks for watching and bye